Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. And I'm... Oh. Nice a, to meet you. A, a, a new... I thought it was Julia, but I, I've turned and looked and Julia's face has become a spiral. Oh, and, yeah. And the deeper I look into it, the harder it is to look away, I've noticed. You should oh, probably stop. Jacob, your face mm. is being spiraled into Julia's, or mm. not Julia's face. Yeah, my face is spiraling too. I feel it. Does, can you look into it real quick and just see? Is yeah, it, hold on. I will is not be doing worse? that. Thank oh, you. Oh, no. Now my face is spiraling too. And that's the story of the spiral <laughs> faces. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. We're doing creepy pasta today. <laughs> it's, it's the scary month. And I thought it would be fun to use... A creepy pasta generator. Ooh, this one is from Springhole.net. Sure, <laughs> and um, classic. It's called the creepy pasta and horror creep generator. Yeah, so I'm going to generate for you a creepy pasta or horror creep. How will we know which one it is? <laughs> We're just gonna have to feel it out, I guess. It's, it's a... I don't think it's a binary. I think it's more of a spectrum. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you have to Great. Place it on the. Oh, yeah, where do you fall on the creepy <laughs> pasta horror creep spectrum? We're all somewhere. Let us on know. It. Yeah, uh, Nathan, you want to go first? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Let me get my face unspiraled. Please. There Thank it is. You. Okay. I'm glad it was so easy to fix. Yeah. yeah. Yours is still kind of fucked up, dude. <laughs> well, now that I saw Nathan do it, I think I could do it too. Perfect. Okay. I live like this. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Nathan, here's your creepy pasta or horror creep. Okay. It looks something like a centipede with a monstrous set of claws that put one in mind of a goat. Mm. <laughs> you know, put one goats? in mind. <laughs> put yeah, one. You know Did I write those, the sentence? Those claws. <laughs> well, no. You, the claws put you in the goat's mind. Uh, um, it so... takes your soul and like puts it inside of a goat. So the goat. <laughs> Wait, there's there's more. There's oh. more. <gasps> oh, good. Sorry. It, it has been reported as lurking near the sea. <laughs> Those who see it often disappear under mysterious circumstances, and it's said that it exudes a horrible smell. <laughs> a Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's a it's a centipede. It looks something like a centipede with a monstrous set of claws that puts one in mind of a goat. Is yeah. it every leg on the centipede claws? It doesn't have to be. It just says I'd it like, has a it monstrous just, set. It of just claws. has a set of them. I'd so like to two. see you try. <laughs> <laughs> the goat mind is where one is being put. So that's why you disappear under mysterious yeah, circumstances. You, you, no one thinks to look inside the mind of a goat. <laughs> yeah. I usually just assume there's nothing there. There's a lot of space in there. That's why it's so easy to fit people <laughs> yeah. inside of there. It's free real estate. Yeah, it's free real estate. <laughs> I like the little teeth. This is the true oh. ending of the vitch. The vitch? Yeah. This is Black Phillip's mind. Yeah. You're going to live deliciously in there. This those is... claws are so good for churning butter. This is one of those creepy pastas where it's like, I feel like you lost the plot somewhere along the way. Like you got yeah. too many elements here. It's a centipede by the sea, but it also has claws, but also it puts you in the mind of a goat you know it's like the first draft it hasn't been edited yet the editor hasn't come in and said i don't, I don't think you need half these things oh is that a big brain no it's oh, just it's like just the, open it's just it's open, open so you can put oh. so you can put you inside the head is on like a hinge like it's, a cookie jar it's like a cookie jar <laughs> thank yeah. you you're the cookie yeah you're the you're cookie, the cookie. <laughs> so you're getting put in there if you were a cookie what kind of cookie would you be a snickerdoodle. Oh, that's a good one. Cause I'm sweet, but, but also a little spicy. A little spicy. Yeah. Mm. Don't look at me that way, Karina. I'm not looking at you. <laughs> it's Karina's the expression thinking. you're making. <laughs> that's just my face. If you were a cookie, you'd be whichever <laughs> one's an <a> asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you are what you eat. <laughs> the claw. Well, no one else answered what kind of cookie they would be. I'm thinking. 
There's these ones I like getting at Sunrise Mart sometimes where they're little biscuits and inside, you know, it's kind of like how they do the jam inside, but mm. it's chocolate and coffee. Ooh. Yeah. And they kind of look like an asshole. If you squint, <laughs> that's me. That's you. I feel, like, I feel like I'd be an oatmeal raisin cookie because when you look at it, you get all excited for a chocolate chip cookie and then you have it and you're like, damn it. This ain't it. What does that so are you, mean? Are you trying to say that you're fundamentally disappointing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't agree with that. Yeah. I just... That you don't give people what they want? <laughs> I think you you're more... You subvert expectations. You're more of an oatmeal chocolate chip because then I'm just like, ugh, it's an oatmeal cookie with raisins. But then I eat it and I'm like, wait, it's the best. <laughs> it's better than I thought it would be. Oatmeal butterscotch is my favorite cookie. Oatmeal cookies are good. I just Hell don't like yeah. raisins. Oatmeal raisin is my favorite cookie because I do like raisins. I like the little pop of fruity flavor. To cut I respect the sweetness. That. Jacob likes a little a little dessert with a little bit of fruit. You put a fruit <laughs> in a dessert, I'm already gonna like it more. Yeah. I wish I could like dried fruits, but I'm just not built like that. That's okay. Yeah. You know, this if we find ourselves in a dried fruit situation, I'll eat the dried fruit <laughs> and save you from having to eat it yourself. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Nathan, what about you? Um what was the question? Cookies? <laughs> oh, no, he's in the mind of a goat. Oh, my God. Come back before it's too late. I, I'll just go regular. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do normal cookie. What kind of cookie would you like? Uh, regular. Plain. Just a regular <laughs> regular cho chocolate chip. Okay. A real, a real soft. A classic. A real soft bake. You like a soft bake. I think I am a soft bake. You are a soft bake. I think I'm, I'm a soft bake. For sure. No no crispy, crunchy bits. <laughs> Nathan knows one thing in this world, and that is that he is a soft bake. He's a soft bake. You know, some people are. Yeah. You can't insult me by telling me I'm a soft bake, because I know. <laughs> <laughs> what I if I'm know. actually a Linzer tart? Ooh, Linzer tart. Yeah. You made Linzer tarts for and us one time, good. and they were really good. Thank yeah. you. But why are you a Linzer tart? Well, because it got a little bit of spice that you don't expect. Mm -hmm, a little bit of sweetness. Mm -hmm, yeah. That biscuit is like simultaneously tough and hard. Mm. Tough and hard? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> soft. the same thing. <laughs> soft and tough? Yeah. It's like a little hard exterior, but softer on the inside. Yeah. That's like you. Yeah. That's like me. Yeah. I'm a Linzer tart. Hell yeah. This is a great conversation for a creepy pasta episode. <laughs> yeah, it's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got two people. Yeah. Goat brain so spacious. It's just it's just putting one. I guess it should only be one. It can well, put it's, two. It's, it's doing yeah, one. It's, two. It's, it's doing a lot one of at a time. In there. Yeah. It yeah. puts one in in the mind of a goat. Well, he's going. Listen, I'm going to be busy tomorrow, so I'm going to be do two today. So it's one for today and one for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. 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 Two on these slow. So I don't feel bad about it. As yeah. long as it equates to one. Yeah. Per day. Yeah. And over it, a long period of time. And he's stinky. He's stinky. He smells yeah, so stinky. terrible. Yes. Stinky. And he's by the sea. And he's by the sea. Yeah, please don't course. forget this. It's important. It's very important that I he's will, by the sea. I will admit that, you know, just in terms of a spooky story, like there's there's something here. Like yeah. it's scary that you're gonna be put into a mind of a goat. Yeah. Yeah, you don't wanna yeah. you don't know what's in and here. And with some other guy, you're gonna have to be roommates in a goat mind. <laughs> That's yeah. true. What if we don't oh, get along? God. Yeah. What if you don't like him? Yeah. yeah. What if he's an asshole. What if you disagree? Yeah, maybe, there's, maybe there's one guy like trying to escape. He's like <laughs> What if he leaves his wet towels all over the floor after a shower? Uh, yeah, you can't do that. Hang that up. This is a call out to anyone watching who leaves their wet towels on the floor after a shower. That's how you get mildew. That's going to give you mildew. It'll be stinky. Yeah, it's so going to be stinky and, and then you're going to be stinky. Just hang it up. Yeah. We're All only right? promoting healthy habits. Yeah. yeah. We're not trying to make you feel bad. It's just, you know. Well, I want you to feel a little bad. That's how you're going to change. Yeah. Yeah. You have to realize the error of your ways. Yeah. And, and then be like, it. I'll do better now but, going forward. But because you want it. Well, no, you should do it because I want it. Yeah. Um, or that. <laughs> <laughs> don't you want to make me happy? Yeah. Don't you want to make Jacob happy? I'm going to be sad otherwise. <laughs> oh, nice little shoreline. Wow. Oh. Wow. They were on a date. 
<laughs> on the beach. Long walks on the beach. He's like, oh, God, sorry, I got to do something. Can you open your noggin a bit? Thanks. It's a lighthouse. Oh. Just got to. Got to weigh that house down. Indicate that we're, we're near the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> ah, I did it. Good one. This feels like a one of those stock photo images I would have found for a stock photo challenge. Yeah, it, it is like does. the same beach angle, I guess. Like the the centaurs, <laughs> the wrong half. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Yeah, this is the Are same beach. Are they at the beach. wrong half beach? Yeah, this is wrong half <laughs> this beach. Is just further yeah. down the beach. Yeah. Don't go to wrong half beach. Weird stuff happens there. <laughs> Nothing good is going to happen to you if you go there. <laughs> yeah, you'll never be the same. I think I think this is it. This is great. Yeah, this I is like great. This. Thank you. <laughs> I want this to happen to me. <laughs> okay. If you never see me again, know that this is what happened to me. Okay. Okay. Weirdo. Thank you. Karina. Yes. You're up next. Yes. Are you ready for your creepy pasta and horror creep? I am ready for my creepy pasta and horror creep. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> it takes the form of a child with a monstrous set of nails that puts one in mind of an owl. Okay. What's with all the putting in the mind okay, of? Okay, so everything has That's a just... monstrous set of things and <laughs> it puts it, one it in. It makes you think of an owl. It has been reported as lurking in an abandoned school. People in suits have been reported in places where it has been sighted, and it's said that it can move imperceptibly fast. So it's Whoa. just a really fast child with long nails? Yeah. That puts one the, in mind the, of an it's owl. It's sort of reminiscent of an owl, maybe. Yeah. One of those long nail owl kids. Okay. And it feels like about. kind of a, uh, like a Jujutsu Kaisen demon oh, like, oh, like it does. In a there's people in suits all around the abandoned school like keeping people oh out oh my god nanamin and it moves papa <laughs> imperceptibly fast this is what children look like this is what salad fingers looks like <laughs> giant jujutsu kaisen kid yeah i love the little freaks in jujutsu kaisen They're i don't so mean good. the main characters i mean the weird little <laughs> jama fellows those low level demons. Yeah. Yeah. I love how they're drawn or animated. Yeah. And they're like they got they got a fun line yeah. line art style. This is a perfect prompt for Karina. Yeah. You get to draw a little freak. I love drawing little freaks. And you know what would make you turn us into some little freaks? If you subscribe. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Got him. We'll be got we'll him, be little God. we'll be little freaks for you. We're on that two million creep. Yeah, we're freaks for the creep. We're creep freaks. <laughs> we're doing a we're, we're doing a a, a a creepy a creepy creep our own self. Yeah, we're doing a creepy creep, and we're, we're freaking our way to two million. And once we get there, we're gonna get creepier and freakier than ever. I wish, I wish people could have seen the face Karina made. <laughs> a horrified. Every just so keep often, going. just keep going. Every so often, I'll say something that makes Karina do a slow turn. <laughs> <laughs> just an incredulous slow turn. <laughs> I don't know about everyone else, but like I've kind of accidentally trained myself to like fall asleep watching YouTube videos, but they have to be of like people talking mm -hmm. with as few like volume fluctuations or like editing little bits as possible. We're gonna mm -hmm. get a lot of comments that are gonna be like, "Yeah, that's yeah. me in this channel." Yeah, and which I which is really flattering. <laughs> You know when you're like falling asleep mm -hmm. and the words just kind of stop meaning anything? Mm -hmm. That's how I feel half the time. You guys are like doing a bit while I'm drawing. <laughs> it's just like, like they're saying words, but I don't know if they're like real. <laughs> yeah. They're, I don't it, know either. It is a fun sensation when I'm aware that a bit is happening around <laughs> me, but I'm, I'm too deep in my drawing and <laughs> most of my focus is going to that. So I can't participate in the bit, which means I can't steer it in a direction that I like either. You just it's gotta just, let it happen. It's just like, okay. That's what they're it's flowing around. That's you. what they're talking about. I'm just in it. I'm in here now. It's like the bit is saying, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> yeah. 
And then it goes on to talk about freaks and creeps yeah. for the yeah. next five minutes. Because usually I'm the one who you're trapped in here with, and I'm not the one trapped in here with you. I was so, trying. So when it happens, I'm just like, oh my God, is this what it feels like? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was trying to remember what the other end of the, the spectrum is from creepypasta horror and creeps. horror creeps. Horror creeps. Yeah. I just said creepy creeps. Creepy yeah. Creeps. <laughs> <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong to say it. A little creepy creep. That's what a child looks like. That's what. <laughs> <laughs> some some people's ch children. Yeah. 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 A I'm child seen a child like that. A child can look like this. If you told me this was a child, I'd say yeah. Sure. <laughs> that is. It I, puts me in mind there, of an Now owl. it's a child. It's the kind of child that someone goes, "Isn't my baby cute?" And they show you a picture, and you're like, "Yeah." <laughs> sorry for sorry for greasing up the stylus before handing it to you, Karina. That was okay. a I was just doing a prank. It's okay. I, I looked at a, a at the child on the screen and it scared me. <laughs> and I dropped my stylus. He's a little he's a little freaky. Yeah, he's just a little jujitsu guy's in Ojama. But he is putting me in the mind of an owl. Yeah. yeah. Just too. a little bit. I don't know what it is. It's the eyes. Sagu and like the little legs. Owls have little legs like that too. Actually, just very softly in my ear goes saggy armpits. <laughs> <laughs> Julia, stop He's whispering weird. into the mic. Yeah, I wanted to hear that. <laughs> that was for every. This is. I'm in the meeting. Julia whispered saggy armpits, and I just say saggy armpits, and the meeting goes wild. Yeah, everyone <laughs> everyone stands and claps. <laughs> that was my idea to say saggy armpits about what Karina drew. I'm going to get the promotion now. No. <laughs> I love these little toes. For some reason, they remind me of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I was going to say that. <laughs> right? Uh, they're like the Ed, Ed, and Eddie hands. Oh. And those are kids. Those are kids. There we go. Are, I got it. Those are children. Yeah. Maybe I'll have them wearing like a t-shirt. That's what kids wear. Yeah, yeah kids wear t-shirts. Yeah, that's what the kids are wearing. <laughs> the kids Almost these days. I'll cover the saggy armpits. There we go. There we go. Like, like a tank top? <laughs> He's wearing a little muscle shirt. <laughs> <laughs> just a loose tank. Oh, it's so loose. Yeah, because he's little. He's just a little kid. Yeah, they got him. That's like, you'll grow into it. He goes, <laughs> didn't. I don't know. <laughs> no, I won't. I might just be like this forever. Gonna be a little freak. It's all ripped up from being on the floor because I don't want to cover these toes. <laughs> Yeah, these I like that. Cute. Yeah, please don't cover the toes. <laughs> They're cute. They're perfect. Oh, yeah. It so much like, motion. It has like a frog <laughs> on the shirt. Uh, oh, one of them frog shirts. Not owl. Well, yeah. Well, it's the it's the finger. I dropped the stylus. And now it's like, why did you do oh, yeah, that? We got to get those <laughs> monstrous fingernails. Because well, if it brings to mind an owl, I was thinking they could be kind of like wingy. <laughs> oh, oh, wingy fingy. Wingy fingy. Yeah. You got a case of the wingy fingy. <laughs> we got to lock you in the school. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You got wingy fingy. You brought wingy fingy into the school, so oh, no. we're going to have to put a bunch of men in suits around. Because you move too fast. You move yeah. way too, imperceptibly fast. It, the wings increase the speed. Oh, we they're for speed. You. Yeah. And it has like the little horn. I don't like that. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh little, nubbin horns. Little nubbins. Yeah. Little head nubbins. <laughs> I like him all so much. I'd like the appetizer platter, but I would only like the chicken wingy fingy, please. <laughs> the what? What did you just say to me? <laughs> do you guys not do the chicken wingy fingy anymore? It's been it's been a few years since I've been here, but I've been I've been yeah. raving about the chicken wingy fingy to all my friends. I finally got them convinced to come. You gotta try the wingy fingies. <laughs> I feel like we we didn't name Nathan's creepy pasta. This one I think would just be called like the Owl Boy. Yeah, it's yeah. always something like that. Mm -hmm. Nathan's could be like go to peeve. That's a Pokemon. What? It's not a Pokemon. But no, but it sounds like a Pokemon. It does. Go to peeve. <laughs> the mm. scene to peed. Because it's by the sea. Because it's by the sea. 
it's just it does so many things that it's hard to he's very busy that yeah. one <laughs> <laughs> hard to nail it down in one he's phrase in endorsed for so many skills on creepypasta linkedin yeah <laughs> on the creepypasta wiki his like list of powers is yeah so long so it should just have yeah. a name it should just have a name like uh like Charles. Charles.jpg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's just Charles.jpg. <laughs> yeah. If you see a picture of him, a goat shows up at your house, and that's a warning. <laughs> <laughs> a warning to be like, don't look at it again. Yeah, or else you're going to find yourself in here. Yeah, <laughs> this is your one. I'm being very generous here. <laughs> don't look at Charles.jpg again. <laughs> we hate it when you do that. Yeah. yeah this well, is going to make my life hard in the render. Maybe. Probably. You can always just do that thing where you get to the render and then come up with like a, a clever <laughs> a clever message to be like, I decided not to actually. Yeah. We'll we'll see. I it's just the word no. Yeah. <laughs> just a can of soup. <laughs> well, cause like here's like the window in the school hallway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But do I want to draw Nanami? I mean <laughs> usually the answer is yes, I you think do. You, I, I think you draw do. Nanami. You just like him. Yeah. I'm surprised you haven't drawn I him. I like him I should too. Draw him. Yeah, I don't know Fuck. why I haven't done that. I feel like my whole life I've been trying to design Nanami without realizing it. And then he <laughs> revealed himself in Jujutsu Kaisen and I was like, damn it. He's so funny. I know I'm I'm still a, a novice Jujutsu Kaisen fan. I've I haven't watched the whole first season, but it's so much funnier than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was going to be a very sort of straightforward shonen anime, but it's it's so tongue in cheek and so like I don't know, I just find myself full belly laughing at some of the stuff. Yeah, like it's horrifying at parts. Yeah. yeah. But other parts it really does just kind of like play out like a group chat, which I like. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrifying every so, time Nanami has to work overtime. He's yeah. so you know. hot. He doesn't want to work past 6 p.m. <laughs> he's so good. Gonna have to go all out in this fight because it's almost 6 p.m. <laughs> and I want to go home. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm gonna like actually draw Nanami just for my Twitter and before this episode comes out. Because I have been meaning to. I think I've drawn Gojo after seeing the movie. You always draw them after you draw them on Drawfee, though. Yeah, so this is this is it. This is the yeah. Nanami number one. Yeah. <laughs> so when you see a it's Twitter like Mambo Nanami, number five. <laughs> <laughs> when you see a Twitter Nanami, you'll know. Yeah, if I've posted a Nanami by now, it's because this episode's already been recorded. Yeah, you can start to place us within the time stream. Yeah, Ooh. figure it out. Yeah. Drawfee timeline analysis. Yeah. Guys, I just looked up Nanami. He was born in 1990. Oh, he's one uh, year younger than us. He's a <laughs> baby. Older than me. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. He's so sexy. He, Nanami is my ah. peer. Yeah, <laughs> Nanami could be on Drawfee. Oh my God. He's Get a Nanami on Drawfee. He's a millennial. Nanami on Drawfee when? But. I, I do like that we are at the age where we are the senseis or older. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gojo is 28. Wow. Yeah, Nanami is supposed Gojo's to be- Gojo's younger than me. He's 27 he's and then 27. 28. Yeah. That's crazy. But I'm yeah. glad that the animes are including people that are 30. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that are not- the senseis. That, that get to have cool How parts. How old was Kakashi? <laughs> no one Google? knows. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to know. There's no way to know. He's he's just lines. <laughs> Whoa. Well, you have to wait until they use like the jutsu that that replaces them with a log, and then you cut you count the, you rings. Count the rings on the log. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how old they are. That's how you know. But I do love when animes have them in like a real world timeline. Like, oh, he was born in 1990. That's so hot. Oh my God, Phoenix Wright is one year older than me. That's so sexy. <laughs> Apollo Justice is a Zoomer. Of course he is. <laughs> 
Uh, Kakashi's birthday at time of recording this happened four days ago. Oh no, he missed it. Wow, yeah, so happy really, birthday, Kakashi. Happy really birthday, Kakashi. This recording, yeah. yeah. He's mm-hmm. here too. Uh, so when you meet Kakashi <laughs> in the beginning of the series, he's 26. <laughs> we are sensei aged. Yeah. And then in Boruto, sensei's? he's 46. Ah, uh, he, he, he outpaced he us. the same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. He aged faster than we did. Yeah. Not fair. He aged fast and then slow. Yeah. But he looks the same. In yeah, he's one of those guys that just like always looked 40. Yeah. Good for him. I got a friend like that. We all have a friend like that. And he's here too. Hi. <laughs> 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 I've come to help you, Nanami. I'll use the Sharingan eye to see him when he moves imperceptibly fast. Okay, but I'm not splitting my paycheck with you. <laughs> yeah, is this officially like allowed? <laughs> All right, here's my guy. This wow. is great. I love it. <laughs> yeah, great. This rules. Amazing. Thank you. Let's Julia. Julia. Yes. Are you ready to draw your creepy pasta and horror creep? I guess so. Okay. <laughs> Here's one for you. Yes. It appears to be a moth with a grotesque set of legs. Ooh. It is seen in an abandoned house. Animals have turned up dead where it has been reported. Interesting. Oh, it's just like a weird moth with legs. It's a weird moth with legs in an abandoned house, and it will kill animals that come I do, here. I do have one thought, and I don't want to sway Julia's ideas, but I would love to see a moth with you. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like it's I've done that. Moth with human <laughs> Julia legs. has to check to make sure oh, she hasn't shit, done that already. <laughs> if I you might did, have. Can you send it to me <laughs> for no reason in particular? I drew uh, a goth moth girlfriend for myself many years ago on Dravi. Okay, yeah, listen to your heart. <laughs> be true to your heart. Just be true to your heart. Remember that song? Yes. From Mulan. Okay, yeah. 98 Degrees. Yes. And Stevie that was Wonder. That Mulan? Yeah. At the it was, very it end. Was a credit in the song. avalanche? Oh. <laughs> yeah, no. that's what plays during the avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> it's very serious right up until she launches the fire yeah. or the rocket, and then it hits the mountain, and you just hear, true to your heart, just be true to your heart. <laughs> Everyone's getting buried in the snow and screaming. <laughs> well, they wouldn't have been if they were true to their heart. <laughs> That's what the song was warning them about. 98 Degrees is trying to help. <laughs> Thank you, 98 Degrees. If it, if had, it been... had been... Oh, my God. Wow. Say, let's say it at the same time, Nathan. <laughs> if, if it, it had, had been 98 Degrees during that during avalanche, that avalanche <laughs> the snow would have melted. <laughs> What the fuck? I, I, I don't like that. I don't like that that just happened. I guess friends are too long. Are you two in a ghost mind right now? Oh my what God. is happening? I think what just happened is that it's been confirmed that they are drift compatible. <laughs> So stupid. We both had the same <laughs> stupid thigh. Oh. Oh. I tried to say it at the same time. <laughs> if it, in the same phrasing. Yep. I'm so, yep. I have to confirm. Was that the thought that you had? Yes, yep. it okay. was. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> our our bond has increased. Our bond level has yeah. increased. Yeah, I just saw the little heart with the plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My Jacob affinity is yeah. up. <laughs> now I will gain yeah. more XP even when I'm not in the party with you. Wow. <laughs> so don't worry about leaving me out of the party. I'll still level up. Wow. That's incredible. Is he, is he, is he inside looking out the window? window. <laughs> <laughs> don't come in here you just walk by this house and you just see the- <laughs> don't worry in- about what my legs are doing you're in the club and you look to one of the windows in the bathroom and you see this what do you do <laughs> he's just looking out the out the out the window at us sure in is the out the in the out the window <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we don't know if it's in the window or out the window yet. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah. Is this like POV, you're in the abandoned house and you've been caught? Or POV, you're approaching the abandoned house? You're approaching. Oh. oh. So Julia, Julia really latched onto the abandoned house aspect of the description. Yeah, well, I heard moth. <laughs> Grotesque legs, animals, abandoned house, haunted house, something like that, right? Julia's, abandoned house. Julia's <laughs> going to draw a whole house. I'm so excited. Oh, Julia God. accidentally a whole house. <laughs> <laughs> the moth is giving the look that's like, you, you've taken the last step you'll be allowed to take towards the house. The moth has come to the window to give you the look that says, listen, I've been lenient. Yeah. One more step. One more, you see that these animals, <laughs> they stepped too close. They stepped within my radius. Here's the thing. You, you're an animal too. People are animals. People is animals. I'm always saying this and no one listens. They think because they're not like, you know, animals crawling around in the woods <laughs> that they're not going to get what's coming to them if they step in my radius. My I'm, moth radius. I'm always saying this. I'm always saying this. No one ever tells anyone else that i'm saying this because they're they're animals and they they end up dead but <laughs> i am always saying this yeah and now you will know and if you walk away you can carry this knowledge yeah with you. then you might be able to tell nope you're still coming closer God, all right well son of a, you know all right it's i tried I, to warn you let no one say i'm not doing my warnings i feel like this is a very <laughs> ominous visage and I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what else I can do to get people to not <laughs> come closer. The sign says no soliciting. I've got the scary house that's fallen <laughs> apart. I've got the dead animals strewn about. I'm looming in the window and you're, you're just, you're, you're just, you're just ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> the real creepy pasta is the disrespect <laughs> that's being shown to the house moth. Yeah. <laughs> this mumble rap about looming in the window is my least favorite part of Dear Evan Hansen. <laughs> we did so many unnecessary cuts during that. <laughs> Julianne Moore really gave it her all, though. As the moth. As, As the, the moth. moth. <laughs> A tour de force. Just kept singing about trucks. <laughs> I like that he's got like a nice two-story house. Yeah. He's up on the second floor, second floor bedroom. Oh, I hope this is going where I think it's going. Oh, are you going to see the legs? <laughs> oh, it's it's it's, a, it's not a two-story house. He's so house. tall. It is a two-story house. No, this is like where the stairs would be, you know, and then it goes into the second. Oh, so second he's story. in he's sort of the <laughs> vestibule. Yeah. How does he go upstairs if he's so tall? Crouches. Yeah. Yeah, he does a little crouch walk. <laughs> you know that thing that you do to pretend you're going downstairs? <laughs> That's what he actually has to do to go upstairs. His head stays in the exact same height and his legs just step up and get shorter. <laughs> yeah. They're very jointed. Don't worry. <laughs> so many joints on those things. <laughs> You'll never guess how many joints. <laughs> Go ahead, try. Julia really is just drawing a house. Can I just say <laughs> how impressive this is to me that you, you're you just drawing a house? Yeah. You're just drawing a house with no underdrawing, no like floor plan or or anything. And you're it's just it's just working. You're just going piece by piece and it's making a house. Hey, thanks, man. That's how you build a house, Nathan, <laughs> piece by piece. Yeah, room by room. <laughs> Start with the start with the top window, yeah. then you add the door, mm -hmm. then you add a side window. <laughs> this is how ask an architect. If you're an architect, architects chime in. This is how you do it, right? Is this the this is the sort of what you do for your job. We're basically architects. Yeah. <laughs> We're architects of nightmares. We're architects of entertainment. Oh, oh my God. Are you having fun? No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do better. <laughs> That's bad for us. Okay. 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 I love that you're, you're, you're 
have to draw every hinge. It's important. It's important to the set design. Yeah, you ever seen a house with no hinges? I guess not. Gotta have a hinge on the house. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> now you look silly. I, yeah. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> 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 the, the Julia being mean to Nathan one time per episode streak <laughs> continues. Ning, ning, ning. <laughs> I can't do more than that. It hurts. I'm definitely an idiot more than one time per episode. So well, we I, think are. It's, I think yeah, it's fair. I think that's kind of part that's of our the, whole thing. Yeah, that's the brand. <laughs> wow. I think if we weren't idiots at least twice in an episode, people <laughs> would be a lot less interested. <laughs> I don't know why they would watch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There are plenty of other art channels where the people aren't idiots. They're just they're just doing cool drawings. But we seamlessly combine cool drawings with being <laughs> idiots. And again, if you like to see us idiots, <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> so we can continue being just for idiots. Yeah. Yes. At two million subs, we will double our idiocy. We unlock yes. a new level of idiocy. Yes. You will not be prepared for the stupid shit that's going to happen at <laughs> for two million. How dumb we'll be. Yeah. We, we become unwatchable at two million subs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you thought we sounded like baby sensory videos before, <laughs> once we wait. hit two million, <laughs> it's going to just be nothing. It'll be vacuous. We'll just be the like, content we put out there. Ba ba boo boo be ba boo be ba boo. <laughs> wow. Wow. Be ba boo ba be. Oh. Ba 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 ba. God. <laughs> It'll be like that, but the whole episode. Yeah. Can't you <laughs> want? Can't you want can't that? Can't you want that? <laughs> can't you want that? <laughs> can't you? Can you? For once in your life, I want an Instagram ad that says "coward." <laughs> can't you want these pants? Can't you just want that? <laughs> <laughs> We're asking nicely. Yeah. <laughs> can please. You, can't, can't you? Can't you? Can't you please want that from us? <laughs> for us? From us? For us? <laughs> With against us? us at us to us oh that one's boarded up yeah okay i gotta give it more of a haunted house vibe it's not haunted <laughs> it's abandoned it's the abandoned house vibe all abandoned houses are haunted yeah though they're not mm. name one name one name one non-haunted abandoned house have you ever seen that one over on Cherry Street? Oh, shit. The one on Cherry Street. Okay, no. besides the one over on Cherry Street. Name it's like a really chill vibe. Yeah. I heard that one was haunted. No, you can go in there and like literally nothing will happen. You can that stay doesn't there mean overnight. it's not haunted. You can do like seances and you'll get nothing in there. Have you done those things? Yeah. Why? To check if it was haunted. So I have an example <laughs> of a non-haunted abandoned house to use on the Droppy Show. Maybe the ghost is just shy. Wow, have you ever thought about that? I'd be kind of freaked out too if this tall guy walked into <laughs> my abandoned house and did a seance unprompted. That'd be kind of weird. Like, I would hide. Do you think the ghost thought I was being cringe? Yeah, <laughs> I would. Oh, no. Here's wow, a... being alive is kind of cringe right now. <laughs> Here's a question. Here's, I guess this is, this is more of a semantics question. Okay. Uh -huh. But can... There be a ghost somewhere, but like the ghost is just chilling. It's not like does does haunting mean there is a ghost or does the ghost have to be doing something in order to be haunting? I think it has to be doing something. Like if a ghost is just there. If the ghost is hiding from Jacob, does that count? Yeah. I don't think that counts as I think as that a counts. Haunting. Nathan said yes, and I believe him more than you. Nathan didn't say yes. Nathan was confirming he was saying yes to my question no, and you are being Nathan cringe. Nathan was saying- You're being cringe. If a ghost is in a house, but he doesn't do shit, he's not haunting. Raising your voice is cringe. <laughs> if a ghost is in a house, <laughs> but he doesn't do oh anything. Oh my God, now he's doing ASMR. It's not a haunting. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> What's some horrifying legs? Um. Hmm. Cockroach legs. Cockroach oh, legs. Yeah. Cockroach. 
<laughs> that's my genuine answer from my heart. Yeah, that's, that's like, well, yeah, one. no, it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm agreeing. If I saw a cockroach's leg that was that big, that to me would imply that it was attached to a cockroach that was that big. It's fucking over. And that'd be pretty bad. The fact that it's not a cockroach is honestly a relief. Yeah, like it does make me feel better. Like he has potential. Maybe I can improve him. Yeah. But the, I just don't like their legs. They're weird. You know if they're going to be that big, you'll you'll see all the little hairs and little cockroach bits. Yeah. I just don't like cockroaches. No, they're bad. They're yeah. bad. Cockroaches are bad. I have some bad news for me. What? What? I looked up the dif the definition of haunted. <laughs> <laughs> and it just says inhabited or frequented by ghosts. Okay. So if yeah, that's they just, hang out there. Yeah. So yeah. you can just if a ghost shows up it's hot. They don't have well, to do it anything even besides have to show up. It, it, if it's just there, I don't even have to know about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's still haunted. It just goes there often. It's like yeah. how I haunt Kino Kinea. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so even, yeah. even if you're not in Kino Kinea, it's still haunted by you because there's a, a chance. Yeah, because I'll come back. Yeah. yeah. I always do. Because you okay. frequent it. So yeah. the, the ghost doesn't even need to be there when you're there <laughs> no it just needs to sometimes it needs go to, like there. establish a rapport that it's there often yeah okay okay that's good to know yeah, fun i was right again <laughs> it just keeps happening but what if i keep searching until i find a definition that i like better so it's like karina is is haunting the space of being correct and jacob is haunting the space of sounding stupid <laughs> It doesn't mean you're there right now. It just means you're there yeah. often. Yeah. Okay, wait a second, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm on Colin's dictionary. <laughs> Who the fuck is Colin? I don't know that. I don't trust Colin. Is Colin Who's a Colin? ghost? And Does he have a PhD says, in words? This says a haunted building or other place is one where a ghost regularly appears. Colin would say that. So yeah, if it's Colin's... not appearing, then maybe... Maybe Jacob is a little more right than we previously yeah, thought. Yeah, because the ghost can be there, but if it doesn't appear. But maybe it's just not appearing because you're being cringe and it's like, I don't want to deal with this. Colin doesn't specify how <laughs> cringe you have uh, to be or not be. Colin is always so vague. That's why we don't listen to Colin. <laughs> oh, who's this? What's that? It's a little bear? Meow? No, it's like a like a deer or something in here. Oh. Is it dead? Is it a ghost? It's about to be. Well, it's one of the dead animals. Yeah. Right? Oh. oh, it's not dead yet. It's just in there. It's like a help. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no, that's what you get for going into a house, dear. Yeah, you're not supposed to be in a house. You're a yeah. wild animal. It's, my, it's one of my favorite things. Is just when deers like go into places they're not supposed to be, and they're like, I don't know how to leave. I yeah, know. I'm just gonna break everything instead. <laughs> just gonna <laughs> annihilate. Peace out. <laughs> yeah, they don't. They don't look so big in the context of forest full of big trees but once you put them in a space made for people you're like D deer are big yeah they're they're deer bigger big. than than you want they're them to be big yeah. and awkward yeah they and they have hooves which means they can kill me which means i don't fuck with them yeah. yeah yeah and they're like so stupid just really dumb really bad deer are himbo deer are himbo deer Deer. No, I take that back because they don't have hearts of gold. No. no, and they're not like <laughs> they're malicious. They're not like hot either. They're kind of like stupid, and they're always like bumble assing around, running into the street. Yeah, they're chaotic. Do you know how many sure. places of the woods are not street? <laughs> they just can't, and yet they refuse mm. to not go into street. The only place where there is mortal danger at all times. Feel free to contribute to this discourse down below. And like the video, if you thought that Bambi's dad was kind of hot. That's okay. a good point. I haven't thought about Bambi's dad. This could change things. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Oh, that leg is kind of giving you a little like, hello. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, don't come over here. I've been telling people not to come over here. Shoo 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 shoo. <laughs> this is my shoeing leg. Please go. It's shoe as in go away, oh. not shoe as in wearing a shoe. Because I'm he not just, wearing a shoe, he as just you can see. He's anywhere. Yeah, he's got a lot of feet. Wow. So he kind of inhabits the whole space. Yeah, I feel like he was born in this house and then he just grew and he's like, oh, I can't get out. Oh, and eventually he's going to like be a hermit crab. He's going to grow through it. 
Oh. And then walk around like a big house with legs. Oh my god! <gasps> Monster <gasps> house, moving castle. Yeah. Moth house. <laughs> Moths moving abandoned house. <laughs> <laughs> It oh, you said Mothra? Up. You sure you didn't say Moth House? <laughs> did, did somebody say Moth House? No, no one said Moth House. I moth thought house. I heard somebody say <laughs> Moth House. <laughs> Wait, I like that voice for the moth way better. <laughs> did you want a Moth House? Oh, let me tell <laughs> you dum, all dum, about dum, Moth dum, House. Are you, are you sure you didn't say Moth House? I'm pretty sure I heard it's, you say Moth House. It's just the horse from Over the Garden Yeah, it's that guy. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get that guy back to reprise his role but yeah. as Moth House. He's also, he's also in Scrubs as a guy who just keeps going, are you sure I don't need my gallbladder? <laughs> 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 It's just sort of his, he's just that guy. Yeah, he's with like that an voice. are you sure type of guy. Yeah. Are you sure? I want to steal. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a moth house. I want to be a moth house. I want to be a moth house. Is this it? This yeah. is beautiful. Julia, this is such a cool drawing. I love this. I love, I, I'm so glad that we're in October and we're doing horror prompts and we just get to let you loose. <laughs> Let it rip, Julia style. The freaking, the freaking shadows, the shapes in the shadows. They're the just, shadows. Mm. Mm. They're so tasty. The I, love, I love a scene. I love, I love we implied know. forms <laughs> that are obscured by shadow. Yeah, rip the to way the deer. You... F in the chat for the deer. <laughs> yeah, that deer. F, 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 F. Yeah. Uh, or F if you would. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> But you know. Yeah. But you know. But she, you know, you know. <laughs> you anyway, know? that's uh, it. This wow. was fun. Y'all did a great job. Thank I liked you all of these. For providing. Our You're welcome. Three new creepy pastas. Moth House. Yeah. Charles JPEG. <laughs> And an owl boy. An owl boy. Yeah, it does really kind of fit the three kind of like creepy pastas, like the actual prestige, well uh, renowned one, the moth, uh, <laughs> and then like the fan creepy pasta owl boy, where it's like for a series. Yeah, it's like yeah. the I found a Jujutsu Kaisen Blu-ray at a yard sale on a blank <laughs> disc, <laughs> and it contained. And then Nathan's an is like the weird one that's like. I don't think this is good. I don't understand. <laughs> it just it. has a cool picture to go with it. Are people yeah. sharing it ironically? I don't yeah. know, but it's people keep <laughs> sharing it. So good work. Much like you can share this episode. Oh, and it will not curse you in any way. Not even you, a little bit. Not even a. It'll bring you blessings. In fact, yeah. <laughs> so share this with your friends who like creepy pastas, or even if they don't, this is a good place to start because it's not very scary, but it still gets you the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you liked it, like and subscribe on the channel. Go to our Patreon yeah, to maybe. give us a pat on the head. <laughs> Go haunt our merch store. Yep, we got a merch store and it may or may not be haunted depending on how many ghosts frequent it. Uh, and we also got a Twitch where you can see if any spooky things happen in the background of the stream. Like a door shutting or a, a little guy goes <laughs> yeah, by or someone, imperceivably fast. Someone shows up and goes, ah! Or someone rings the buzzer. <laughs> the worst of all. That's it. Yeah. We're sorry. 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 <laughs>